The objective of this module is to help you get started using the Avigiline Control Center client software. We will talk about how to start and shut down the client software, how to find sites, how to log in and log out of sites, how to navigate through the software, how to customize your local settings, and how to find the software edition that your system is running. For more information about any of the topics discussed in this module, see the help files included with the software. To access the software help files, just press F1 or click the application menu button in the top right corner, then select help. If you are not able to see or access some of the features described in this module, it may be because you do not have the required user permissions or you are using a different edition of the software. We will identify any features that are edition specific with the following icons. To open the ACC client software, double click the desktop icon or select the program from your Windows start menu. After the application has loaded, a login screen appears. By default, you are asked to log in to all sites. Sites that are connected to the same network as the client are automatically discovered and added to the site list. You can choose to log in to all sites or only individual sites. To log into a specific site, select a site from the drop down list. To log in, enter the username and password assigned to you by your system administrator. If your system is using the Windows Active Directory integration, select Use Current Windows Credentials to gain access. If the site you want is not listed, the site may be on a different subnet. Click Find Site to find the site through its IP address or host name. In the Find Site dialog box, enter the IP address or host name of the site. If the port has been changed from the default, enter the base port as well. Click OK to find the site. The new site is automatically added to the site list. After you launch the application, you can also choose to log into a site by right-clicking a locked site or selecting the Login option from the application menu. After you log into a site, the application looks like this. Open by default is the View tab. On the right are a set of image panels for displaying camera video. If you want to focus on monitoring video, you can choose to resize or hide the System Explorer by moving this border. On the left is the System Explorer that shows all the cameras, saved views, maps, web pages, and virtual monitors linked to the site. By default, all the items in the System Explorer are listed in alphabetical order, but it can be edited to match the way your surveillance system is actually organized. The listed cameras can be grouped by location, and commonly used maps and saved views can be grouped for ease of use. If you have the software permissions, you can make these changes in the Site View Editor. At the top of the application window is the toolbar with the most common tool buttons. Also, at the top of the application window is the Add Task button. When you click that button, the new task menu is displayed. From this menu, you can open New View Tabs, Search Tabs, Export Tab, Alarm Tab, and Site Settings. The options you see in this menu may be different from our example because of your user permissions or license edition. To set your application preferences, access the Client Settings window. From the Application menu, select Client Settings. In the General tab, you can set most of your application preferences. Select the Save Restore Window Layout checkbox if you prefer to have the application automatically remember your layout preferences. This means that each time you open the client software, it reloads your last view tab on all monitors. To automatically start the client software in full screen mode, select the Automatically Launch Full Screen checkbox. Anytime a camera event or a system error occurs, an event is logged and an on-screen message can be displayed to tell you what has happened. If you want to see all the system messages as they occur, select the Display On-Screen Messages checkbox. If you are a system administrator, we recommend enabling this option to receive timely system error messages. When the checkbox is clear, the on-screen messages are hidden but still recorded in the system log. If you are watching more than one view tab, you have the option to automatically cycle the tabs to monitor a wide number of cameras at a glance. 
To set how long each view tab is displayed before it switches to the next tab, enter a cycle dwell time in seconds. By default, the application uses the same language as your operating system. To manually set the language, select any of the listed languages from the drop-down list. You will then be prompted to reboot the software to display the new language. If you prefer to have the application remember your username and password, select the Automatically Log into Servers checkbox, then select how you access the servers. Once this is set, each time you start the client software, you are automatically logged into all sites. If you have limited bandwidth access, you can limit the amount of bandwidth used by the client software. This includes the bandwidth used by streaming live video. By default, the maximum incoming client bandwidth is set to unlimited, but you can set the maximum kilobits per second. If you have a microphone and speakers connected to your surveillance system, decide if you want to enable two-way audio. You have two options. Full duplex allows you to talk with the people in the video at the same time. Half duplex allows one side to talk at a time, which may be used to help prevent feedback. In the Display tab, you can adjust how video is displayed in the software. To change what text is overlaid on the image panels, select or clear the options in this tab. If you plan to use a joystick to control pan, tilt, zoom or PTZ cameras and other video monitoring features, connect your joystick, then select the Joystick tab. If you are using a standard USB joystick, the Joystick tab will look like this. Assign a task for each of the buttons on your joystick, then click OK to save your settings. If you are using the Avigilon Professional Joystick Keyboard, the Joystick tab will look like this. When you connect the Joystick Keyboard for the first time, you will be prompted to install the required drivers. The Avigilon Professional Joystick Keyboard is already pre-configured with all the actions you would need to perform while monitoring video in the ACC client software. See the Keyboard Commands section of the Help Files for a list of the configured actions. In the Joystick dialog box, you can set the Joystick Keyboard to use right-hand or left-hand mode. The Joystick Keyboard is set to right-hand mode by default, so when you select the Enable Left-Hand Mode checkbox, all the button commands are reversed. Once the Joystick Keyboard is set to left-hand mode, rotate the keyboard until the joystick is on the left and the jog shuttle is on the right. Reinstall the keypad cover with the View button labels at the top. In the Site Networking tab is a list of all the sites that you have access to. If you are on a low bandwidth network or accessing the system from a remote location, choose WAN. If you are on a higher bandwidth connection or local network in the site, choose LAN. This allows the Avigilon system to better manage your bandwidth and image rate performance. You cannot remove any site that you are automatically connected to, but you can remove any site that you manually added. As we've mentioned before, the features you have access to is partially dependent on the license edition used by the software. In the following modules, we will identify the features that are edition-specific. The Avigilon software editions are Core, Standard, and Enterprise. If you do not know what edition you are using, access the Application menu and select About Avigilon Control Center Client. The License Edition is displayed under the Software Version Number. For a detailed list of all the features available in each License Edition, see the Edition Checklist on the Avigilon website. When you are done monitoring a site, you can choose to log out of the site. To log out, right-click the site in the System Explorer and select Log Out. Or, in the Application menu, select Log Out. If you want to close the application, select Exit from the Application menu. Thank you for your attention.